Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Saint. In this video, we are going to learn how to install Minikube on CentOS 8. So here, firstly, we need to understand what is Minikube in Kubernetes. So Minikube creates a single node cluster inside a VM, that means virtual machine or cloud instance. It is good for beginners to learn Kubernetes since you don't have to create a master and worker node to create a cluster and we can practice basic Kubernetes functions and can also install the Kubernetes dashboard on it. So in simple language, Minikube is a cross-platform and open source tool that makes it possible for you to deploy a single node Kubernetes cluster on your local machine or inside a virtual machine. So that's the Minikube. Uh, so the second is why we use Minikube. So Minikube is a lightweight Kubernetes implementation that creates a virtual machine on your local machine and deploy a simple cluster containing only one node. So that's why we are going to use Minikube. Then now you can see here the prerequisites of Minikube. So the first is a copy or freshly installed CentOS 8 virtual machine. So here, here you can see here I'm using droplet of digital ocean and here you can say this is CentOS droplet. That means virtual machine. And now we are going to use it to install Minikube. Then the second prerequisite is Minikube, minimum 2 GB RAM and 2 CPUs, then 20 GB hard disk space, then root privilege and a stable internet connection. So that's the prerequisites of Minikube. And now, now we are going to install Minikube on CentOS 8. So for that, firstly, we need to update the system package on CentOS 8. So for that, we need to run this command. So here you can see, here I'm using mobile stream to connect my CentOS terminal. Now it's done. Now the second step is execute the commands below to disable C Linux. So for that, we need to run these two commands to disable this Linux. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. And now, now we are going to our first step that install Docker on CentOS 8. So now for installing Docker, firstly, we need to add repository. So for that, run this command to add repository. So here you can see adding repo from here, from here. Now clear the screen. Now the next step is install Docker on CentOS 8. So for that, you can see the command to installing Docker on CentOS 8.
now you can see uh, it's done now clear the screen and let's check the next step so the next step is run the following command to start and enable docker service so now firstly we need to start our docker so for that run this command systemctl start docker then we need to enable this Now it's done. Now clear the screen. Now, the next step is, here you can see set the following firewall rules using firewall command. So before run this command, you can see here the second step, that means the next step, install firewall ID on CentOS 8 if you don't have. If you run this command, before install firewall then they give us error to install firewall id so that means command not found so that's why we need to install firstly firewall id so here the command so i can say yes now it's done now clear the screen and now we are going to run this command to set the following firewall rules using firewall command firewall id is not running so firstly we need to Firstly, we need to start our firewall ID. So you can see the command start firewall ID and enable it to auto start and system boot, then check the status. So for that, firstly, we need to our start, uh, we need to start our firewall ID, then enable, then we need to, we are going to check the status. now let's check the status of our uh, firewall id now it's running now let's run this command now you can see uh, it's success then second Now you can see here, it's also success. Now clear the screen and let's check the next step. Now, if you scroll down, here you can see install contract package using following command. So con contract is a dependency for minikube step. So we need to run this package. So it's done. Now, the second step, you can see a uh, install Kubernetes on CentOS 8. So download Kubernetes binary with curl on CentOS using below command. So now we are going to download send, uh, Kubernetes on CentOS. Now it's done. Now let's check the next step. Now the next step is make the Kubernetes binary executable. So to make executable, we need to run this command. Then move Kubernetes to this particular directory that user local bin Kubernetes. Now it's done. Now to check Kubernetes status, sorry, Kubernetes version. So now you can see the version here. Now it's done. Now clear the screen. Now the 
third step is download and install minikube on centos 8 so download and install minikube on centos 8 using below commands and to download latest minikube setup uh, refer this minikube official download page so you can go to the official page of minikube uh, to install latest version of minikube now we are going to install using this cult command now it's done now same for minikube make the minikube binary executable for that run this command then move to this particular directory now now we need to install minikube on CentOS 8. Then, if you want to check the version of your Minikube, then you can run the command Minikube version. So, here the version. Now, clear the screen. And now, the next step is to start Minikube. As you can run the command Minikube start hyphen hyphen driver equals to none. Now, we are going to start our Minikube. It takes few seconds. Now it's done. Now let's check the status of our minikube. So run the command minikube status. So here you can see type control plane, host running, Kubernetes running, then server running, configured. Now it's done. Now clear the screen and let's check the next step. So if you want to stop your mini uh, Kubernetes cluster, then you can run the command minikube stop. Now to check minikube cluster information, so you can run the command Kubernetes uh, cluster info. So you can see your Kubernetes control plane, then core DNS URL. Now clear the screen. And now, Run the below command to view cluster nodes. So if you want to view the cluster node, then you can run the command. Then now clear the screen. Now the fourth step is deploy an app on Minikube cluster. So for that, firstly, let's create deployment on Minikube cluster. For, so for that, firstly, we need to run this command. Then you can see the message deployment app test minikube created. Then to access test minikube deployment, run the kilo below command. So you can see a service test minikube exposed. Then to check deployment on minikube cluster, run the command. So here you can see test minikube status running. Now, if you want to uh, access this service, then you can run the command minikube service test minikube URL. Now, 
if you run this url in your browser so copy the url and paste in your browser so here you can see host name test mini cube so here's the details of your our that test mini cube here you can see now the next is now here if you want to delete the service on mini cube cluster then you can run this command delete service hello no that means your mini cube that test mini cube then if you want to delete deployment, then you can run the command. Then to stop Minikube cluster, you can run this command Minikube stop. Let's run the command. Minikube stop. So you can see node one stop now if you want to check the status of mini cube so you can see a stopped now if you want to delete mini cube cluster then you can run the command mini cube delete so if you run the command You can see your uninstalling Kubernetes and remove all traces of the Minikube cluster. That means it's successfully deleted. So it's done. So it's done. So in this video, we have learned how to install Minikube on CentOS 8. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.